Hi there. In this video, I'd like to read about love. Uh, I'd like this reading to answer the questions like, what does he think, feel, and do about you? What are his actions as well? Of course, what does she uh, think, feel, or do about you as well if you're a male? But I'm trying to focus more on females. <laughs> um, okay, so if you'd like to have this reading, um, please uh, choose one deck. Yeah, there are three decks. So, yeah, this is one, two, and three. chosen okay let's imagine you did so let's start this I'm gonna rem remove these two and this is number one so let's start from this the question is what does he or she think about you what do they think about you wow the Sun so First, I think you are the sun to them. You are someone to brighten up their day, to brighten up the whole thing when you appear in front of them. Basically, you make them happy, you make them feel hopeful, happy, positive, and young, and beautiful, and, and whatnot. It's a beautiful card. Um, yeah, they think about you as, yeah, as their sun. As um, light and beauty and sh and positivity and good news, you know. Maybe your parents can be very bright uh, at some point. Maybe your presence lighten up the atmosphere where you go, and you, you just the person thinks you bring joy to them. I mean, not things, but maybe you, you do. So that's what they think about you. Yeah, they might think that you're confident and all that as well. So let's see, what do they feel about you? They feel about you, what do they feel about you? Justice. I think they feel about you, that you are very, um, like, self-righteous person, almost. I think they respect you in a way, because uh, they feel that... You, I mean, how to say you, you're very intelligent, you're very wise, and you would, um, and you're also not, not very emotional, you um, respect yourself, you respect your views, and you follow them, you, uh, you, how to say, you might be also very, very educated, and uh, they probably how to see they feel a little unapproachability with you i think they might feel a little bit unapproachability that they cannot approach you easily because they have to watch the words they have to watch what they you know say and everything and i think they might you know think twice before before doing or saying something to you so it's like a respect a little bit but like not like fear but something like like that you know um, yeah, what they feel about you, or it could be that, um, what, whatever they feel, it's restricted by some sort of, um, values or some sort of rules that they have. For example, if you work together or if you're in a situation where, you know, love can be awkward, uh, so they the feelings might be restricted with that justice can also talk about like karma so it can mean that um they feel that you've been related by karma at some point this is another meaning as well so yeah uh let's see what do they do about you are they actually doing some actions towards you they just think and like and feel <clears throat> what do they feel about you? Oh, sorry. What do they do about you? What do they actually do to be with you? Or do they do anything at all? Wow, we have three of wands. 
I think with three of wands we get this like planning a little bit um because this man is just looking um at the path path leads somewhere and for me I call this card three of wands it's like my ladder card it's like a progress so I think the thing that um, in this relationship they've been at some sort of progress with you that uh, the relationship has actually progressed at some point so now the uh, might be making some plan what to do next and they might be a little bit slightly confident about the way the relationship is going and uh, so it gives them a little hope and they might look into the future about this uh, I'm not sure about their real action uh, like writing messages calling or proposing or anything like that but I think at the moment they're just in their mind more uh planning intending sort of to do something because they feel that it's going in the right direction okay so that will be the quick uh review of the first uh reading okay let's see now the deck number two again the question what does he or she feel about you? Or think about you, sorry. What does he, she or she think about you? I'm trying to more focus on he. What does he think about you? But if you're a male, you can also reverse it. Um, how to say into the she. Because I'm intending that too. This will be... What does he think about you? Oh, it's uh, okay. We have this sky here, but actually, it's Eight of Pentacles, and Eight of Pentacles is a war card. And we've seen here that the sky has um, harvested some um, some wheat. I don't know what is this. Some crops harvested. Yes, yeah, done already. The job is done. So I think what they think about you is something related with work. It can be related with work. Either that you are co-workers or uh, that, you know, you work great or that work relates you. So this uh, often can be that the person just thinks that the work relates you together or studies or some formal situation, something, projects or some common goal uh, is more uh, what is between you. And do you think more in um, work context or you know job context okay and let's see now what do they feel about you what are the feelings look uh, two of cups that's good I think the actually uh, almost like the well it can be friendship very good friendship it can be even love uh, and falling in love they definitely feel friendliness to you they definitely feel that you can share your thoughts and your emotions with each other this card is a little different from the rider weight we see a woman with two babies they might feel about you that you're um, a mother you know they might maybe you're you have children so he might feel about you uh, that woman, uh, mother energy, like a uh, mother, like they see you more like a mother um, who's caring, maybe who has children and who's like a nurturing and caring, yeah. Um, and there is still that very gentle feeling, you know, with respect and love that is uh, going to all mothers, you know, people who respect mothers, they respect mothers. And uh, and I think there's maybe a, even can be a feeling like they see us their mom or it reminds of uh, the way their mom was with them. So there's this extra uh, coziness coming, you know, with this card. So this coziness, of course, can be a friendship and soft gentle feelings to each other and ability to share love and or you know 
great conversations, uh, open conversations and a lovely time, you know, together. Trust also is their trust. Okay, let's see now what does this person do about you. Do they just do feel and think or do they actually do something about you? Okay, what do they do about you? Okay, we have strength. You know, I think with strength we get the trying to self-control. The trying to resist. The sort of um, trying to control their... They try not to act, I think, in this card. Maybe because it requires lots of courage. Maybe because uh, it's awkward, you know. Maybe at some point they're not really showing the whole thing. They're not showing in actions the, what they feel because they think they have to control it at some, um, because of some reason. I think there is a big uh, wish to act, but the person is trying to be either patient or they're trying to, from the, you know, to, to do their best at uh, not doing anything because things are inappropriate or something like that. Uh, so they're being strong by controlling. They are being strong and hard on themselves by doing that. That's my interpretation. It can be wrong, of course. No, no guarantees. <laughs> you know, just um, let's see. Let's look at the deck number three. And I know I love this deck. But <laughs> deck number three. What does he or she think about you? He or she think about you. What does he or she think about you? Wow, the lover's card. Wow, seriously. I think uh, for me, there's no choice here. Lovers always love and the second half is the couple. They see you as their lover. They see you as their loved one. They see you as, um, basically, I think this is like being in love. Yeah, they want you to be their second half. I see it this way. Yeah, with the lover's card. Because we, we have in this card two lovers in the forest. Purity and closeness and everything. There's no nothing to choose here. Okay. Okay, good news. Yeah, that's great. Now let's see what does this person feel. So now let's think. <clears throat> maybe they think that you're a couple, you know, maybe they think you're their lover. But what do they feel? Nine of Cups. Wow. It's like I think they feel they want to be with you, they want you, they want you know just pure wish pure wanting it's a nine of cups wish card they might feel that their wishes are coming true that their dreams are being realized being with you and it's a great card i think to show her <clears throat> they might even want to spoil themselves to spending and spending more time with you you know like um what do they feel about you I think there's a lot of wanting here, a lot of wanting and a lot of passion and a lot of, you know, dreams and, you know, that sort of just pure wanting, yeah? Okay, now let's see what do they actually do, what do they do about you? What do they do to you, about you? What do they do? It's the wheel. <clears throat> the wheel. The wheel, I think, um, one thing can be they drive for you. <laughs> they drive. It can be that they actually sit in front of the wheel of the car and they drive to you a long distance or often. The other meaning could be that they... 
let it go they um sort of they have that attitude that if it's meant to be it will be all right so they sort of surrender to their destiny to their you know they trust uh, you know the god the life the whatever and they sort of surrender it can be also the third meaning that they try to do changes for you because will is changes as well and the, it can be that they uh, do some drastic changes for you like they change a life for you or they change something for you or to be with you or something like that they change upside down everything you know uh, they take risks, they spin that wheel of fortune, you know, like a gambler. They are not, they are free and they, they are they're letting it go, you know, they're letting it go. And I think they are willing to risk for you. So that's a big, actually, what they're doing from their part is they're very open, I think. But at the same time, they're not afraid. They're willing to risk something like that. Um, not, no idea now I'm done with the all of the three readings and no idea if they're accurate or non-accurate maybe you know so yeah that's it I hope uh, you liked it and if you did um, please comment and share if it was accurate or not so, thanks for watching this and see you next time.